Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Share Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Atomic Heart is having audio or sound is not working or it is crackling and it is muffing as well as uh, it's not popping on audio on your windows when you're trying to play the game and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into it. First one is all about we have to restart your PC and you can try with a simple restart. In the past this, this worked so you can try with the restart. So for restarting the PC, you just have to go over here in the search, go to this icon, go for a restart. After restarting, check whether you are able to fix the issue or not. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about, we have to check the volume mixer. So over here, as you can see, uh, make sure this is 100% uh, reach. And after that, just go to settings over here, go to settings, then open this. Now I have to go to sound. And over here, you have to set the volume into 100% as well as make sure that the both the volume, volume is 100% and make sure that you are selected the right speaker as well as over here also you have selected the right speaker. Over here as you can see the Realtek R audio, over here also you can see the Realtek R audio. So you have to make sure it is not muted like this, you have, it has to be 100% and that is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, you have to select the right audio device in the sound setting. That is what I said right now. You have to go to the settings once again. And you have to click on this. Go to sound. And over here as you can see, you have to select the uh, output should be the same speaker. That is our uh, Realtek R, R audio. That should be the correct speaker. And if you go to the microphone Realtek R audio, that should be the correct speaker. And this is what you have to do and select the respective correct speaker or else you'll be having the trouble on the input as well as the output so you have to select the respective one next one is all about we have to try with uh, set sound symbol rate to 48 or 44 kilohertz in the sound control panel so we have to go over here and we have to go to control panel so click on control panel or search control panel now from here we have to click on hardware and sound now from here go to sound over here you have to select the respective one you have to right click and go to properties over here on the advanced you can see this being set into 24 bit 48000 hertz so we are having many options so always set this to 24 bit 48000 hertz and once it is done just go for ok close everything and try to play the game this is what you have to do next one is all about we have to uh, disconnect the controller I mean if it's already connected in the sense if uh, you might be playing the game with controllers you might be using logitech wheels you might be playing you know uh, etc all those things and that all will be completely connected right so uh, the usb ports are completely busy with all these things so what you have to do is you just have to eject everything even the controller you have to remove everything once you removed everything over there then launch the game you have to launch the game once after that Connect it back. If you wanted to play the game with the controller, do not panic. Just remove everything first. And after that, uh, connect it back, then launch the game. Then uh, you have to connect it back and try to play with the controllers. And this did work. Next one is all about we have to turn off the spatial sound. For this, go over here in the search. Search for control panel. Open this one. Go to hardware and sound. Go to sound. Select the respective speaker. Right click and go to properties. Go to spatial sound over here as you can see this being turned it off so you have to turn this off it will be windows sony 4 headphone should be turned it off once it's done just go for apply and go for ok then go back to the game try to play so uh, even after trying if it's still not working we have to try with disabling the oculus voice meter so you have to check whether the oculus voice meter is connected for that go to search and over here go for control panel once again go to hardware and sound go to sound over here, if you find any Oculus voice meter, just uh, remove it. I mean, just remove it in the sense you have to select the Oculus voice meter, go for disable. After disabling, go back to the game, try to play it and this will be working as it is. And also you have to uh, do is one more thing, that is you have to disable the unwanted things from the device manager of the sound setting. So just go to start, go to device manager, go to sound, video and game controllers. Over here, as you can see, NVIDIA High Definition Audio, NVIDIA Virtual Audio devices are actually uh, not necessary comparing with Realtek R Audio because that is my thing. So you have to, if you want, if there is many unwanted things, 
just disable everything this this is also disable everything and keep it only realtek r audio in my case which is actually the respective speaker so you have to keep it the same and try to play the game next one is all about you have to disable externals and internal microphone if it's there and also you have to install the audio drivers and update it and it should be up to date for that reason we have to go to the start go for device manager go to over here on the sound and video the realtek r r audio is in my case so i have to select it and go for update driver and make sure it is up to date and this is what we have to do. so these are the possible workarounds which you can try out when you are having the issue with audio or sound is not working on atomic heart and you hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye bye